into your hats because we're about to dive into a last minute, 24 hour bachelorette party. When we arrived, we headed towards guest relations to ask for some celebration pins. These pins are special buttons that guests can get for free at Disney parks to celebrate occasions like birthdays, anniversaries, and in this case, bachelorette parties. When worn, Disney cast member characters and even other park goers come up and acknowledge and congratulate you for whatever your event or celebration may be, making your visit extra magical. It's also just a good keepsake and a fun thing for everyone in your party to enjoy. From there, we venture deeper into the heart of Animal Kingdom. Our first mission, Dino Land USA to experience the exhilarating dinosaur ride. This ride takes you back in time, all the while avoiding meteors and sightseeing some different species of dinos. This ride is a little chaotic and you will absolutely be thrown and bounced towards anyone in the same row as you. This was a must-do on our list, not just because of the heart-pounding thrills it offers, but also because Disney has plans to revamp this entire area soon. It's looking like it will be replaced with Tropical America's Land, replacing Dino Land USA with Encanto and Indiana Jones. Regardless, this ride to us has become a classic and we couldn't miss the chance to experience it one last time. And suffice to say, we did enjoy it. After Dinosaur, we were starving and knew exactly what we wanted. It's one of the main reasons I personally enjoy Animal Kingdom, and that is the Harambe grilled corn on the cob with all of the seasonings. The corn looks good. The corn looks good though. Yeah, we always yeah. come here just for the corn. Oh yeah? It's yeah. It's good. Oh, it's so good. What yeah. did they season it with? Did they have like- It's like an African seasoning. Oh, it's, it's, it's so good though. If you have ever had fresh corn on the cob off the grill, imagine that, but with a lot of butter, a lot of spice with a bit of a kick. It is so good. It's also incredibly messy as you are holding onto it with a small amount of tin foil wrapped onto the end. That's it. The first time Emily took me to Disney, she made me try this corn and to this day, I think it's the best snack in the park. Her and I always look way too happy and insane while we're eating it. Exhibit A. This also happened to be on the way to the next section of the park we needed for the safari ride. It ended up being a longer wait than expected, so we decided while we were waiting on our designated time to take the Wildlife Express train Thank over you. to the petting zoo area. You can get up close and personal with domesticated animals like goats, sheep, and more. And oh my gosh, I normally don't like zoos or petting zoos or anything of the sort. These guys looked like they were having an absolute blast. I unfortunately, however, didn't get a lot of video footage in this area because I was so distracted. I wanted to pet all of the little cuties. So please enjoy this single clip of me petting a pig that the zookeeper was standing next to. Ensure everyone she is in fact not dead and just super lazy. Apparently she was so sad people weren't petting her and I was up for the task. I snuck her out of Disney and she lives with me now in my heart. After our side quest to the Wildlife Express, it was finally time to go on the safari ride. About once a week. Now I do, if you do want to see crocodiles a little bit closer, there is a, an American crocodile over in Dino Land. Uh, he's around 84 years old, super chill guy uh, that likes to hang out in his watering hole. So go check him out. Now the difference between an alligator and a crocodile is one you'll see later, the other you'll see in a while. That's my best joke for y'all, I'm so sorry. Uh, they'll even sleep underwater. And they'll naturally float themselves to the surface when they need air. Now, if you want to see these hippos a little bit closer in their underwater habitat, I suggest heading over to the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. You'll be able to see them in their underwater habitat. Most of the time they are taking a little nap, so you can see them hanging here. Now this road that we are on leading down is going to the savannah and this is going to be the part of Africa y'all are going to know the most animals from. There is an animal spotting guide above your head to help you with any animals you may not know out here. Looks like we have some springbok over there on that right hand side. Those small antelope laying in the shade. Those are actually the smallest species of antelope we have here on the reserve. Okay. 
We were all pretty baked from the sun and quite thirsty at this point, so we decided to get some drinks and head into the shops. This was in September and oh my gosh, I have never seen so much Halloween merch that I actually wanted in my entire life. I still have regrets about not buying this cute sweater and backpack because they are both amazing and I still want them. But I had another trip coming up soon and I needed to save my money. So if anyone has this merch, tell me if it's as amazing and wonderful as it looked in the comments below. And please know that I am immensely jealous of you. After a full day of rides and drinking, it was time for us to return back to our hotel, which happened to be the French Quarter. The theming was a little lackluster in our room. However, we did get Mardi Gras beads in the shape of Mickey ears upon entering, which was pretty cute. The theming was more on point in the main area. The architecture was tall and beautiful and there were brightly colored masks and statues sprinkled throughout. We were most excited to try some authentic beignets here. My fellow alpha gal having friends, do not worry. They have a safe option for us too. Oh, that's good. I would describe these treats as very similar to funnel cake, maybe even a more dense version of it. Although mine wasn't Mickey shaped, it was still just as delicious and it went amazingly well paired with the coffee. We decided to explore just a bit more. We checked out the arcade area, which was completely empty. It was kind of hidden in the back corner, tucked away from the chaos of the beignet restaurant. That meant we had the entire area to ourselves. So I proceeded to waste some money, absolutely crushing Emily at multiple games. With that, it was time to leave. Though the trip was short, I had an amazing time and I know Emily did as well. It's absolutely not the first place you would think of someone having a bachelorette party, but it was super fun and 10 out of 10 would do again.